So, it's all come together. The GM screen, the prototype is completed. Now we can talk about it and talk about it. That's basically it. It's not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is going with a solid wood screen yeah. that's really just a chassis for a variety of systems. Yeah. This is double, like you can, you can, you can flip it. You can go vertical. It's either this or we do a frame and panel. Frame and panel adds a ton to the cost. Yeah. It's, it's almost it all. Looks way nicer. Feels way nicer. I think, in my opinion. So like the Matt Mercer GM screen, which is a frame and panel, which is gorgeous. That'd be like three thousand dollars or something crazy. Yeah. Right. And then we were like, oh, and we also don't have the bandwidth to even do that. Whereas this, we have the bandwidth to do. This is this yeah, is a product so. that is actually achievable. So I'm a minimalist, but this is like <laughs> three slabs of wood. Yeah, actually, I don't mind it. It is maple, which is boring. Yeah, walnut is a lot nicer. The most boring wood. Like choice. it is the most boring wood. What sent me down this path is there was a comment on a worm life, and it was like, "Community demands GM screen. <laughs> Doug develops magnetic tablecloth." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really should be developing things people really want. The goal of a business is to actually solve problems and actually make products people want. I think for GM Screen, we've had it in our heads, we've let perfection be the enemy of progress for too long. We've been like, well, we just want this crazy fucking thing, and then it's like, well, the development time for that is eight months, and so we just never do it. I kind of agree with Jason. I don't, it doesn't look or feel like a Wormwood product to me, but I also think something's better than not doing anything. It's not a Wormwood product, I think. I just don't fucking care about any of these words. You know? I care about employment. I care about increasing wages. I care about action. It's like, I don't care about your fucking vision. I don't care about my fucking vision. Like, yeah, I just don't but, care. I yeah, was, but th was, this doesn't, this doesn't does thoughts. Sit, stand, desk improves everything, not this. I think. How much time did this take from you? This took none from me. I am not the only person in the company. Sure. Like this is going to drain resources from lots of places. Production? Yeah, process engineer, just like development, everything. Do you think this is done, ready to go? I think it's close. The improvements I'm looking at is this is this is really heavy. This rod sucks. Yeah. We're we're sourcing a magnetic stainless steel tube to see what the price is on that because this is just like too chonky. Would a bigger like, diameter on that tube help too? Like more uh, footprint no, for it to grip. It's, it's that magnets have no strength. Like shear. Laterally. Like that shearing, the magnets have those strength. Magnets have full strength. Like, yeah, it's really strong this way. Yes. The, the, I think the only way we're gonna, I mean, uh, just throwing it out there is a hinge solution. I mean, I know it's cool to be like, you can get as many as you want, but do people want that or do they want like a standard three screens? No, it's usually, like, I have a set amount of screens I use that I prefer and I don't change that ever. Yeah, it wouldn't be this modular thing. It would just be like, you purchase one GM screen and comes, maybe the hinges, then it can fold together. It's like more of an item, less of a system. No, I mean, it's, you want good hinges? You want not piece of shit hinges? You're probably doubling the cost. Hinges are expensive and they're very time consuming to put in. I think this is the most slam dunk that is achievable for our company. Most achievable dunk. Achievable dunkage. This is it. One thing that we could maybe try, what if we ran a shallow cove in the edge of this? Mm. There was the diameter of the rod, and then we still put magnets in, but they'd just be recessed at the bottom of the cove. Put that the would help with them. that. If we are doing it in the CNC, you wouldn't need to run the cove all the way to the end. It could be like a pocket that uh, like the rod mm. sat in. So you actually don't run all the way to the end. It is a ball and mill. That is a stronger product. I think that's a win. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Doug just wants me to fucking agree with him. In any pushback I give, you get pissed off. The problem is you're not offering any solutions other than a no, $2,000 GM it, screen we developed uh, six years from now. Where my viewpoint is like, well, who is selling it and what brand we sell it does determine the design features, how it looks, fit and finish. I don't see why you would make all of those decisions before you see how popular it is. My only frustration is whenever someone is like trying to tell me to stop, I'm just like, nope. So great, sounds fantastic. I don't feel like getting steamrolled right now, so I'm not gonna fucking obstruct you. Uh...
you're like you're like I am not accepting obstruction. So my only option is to agree with you. No, 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 no. What is not helpful is yeah, just being a bitch. Just being like, oh, I don't, I don't think this fits a brand vision. I don't think this does this. I don't think it does that. Like it just doesn't move anything forward. It's just complaining about reality. Reality is we have to develop products that we can actually make, that can actually be launched, that people are actually excited about. How does it feel, Jason? How does it feel? How does it feel? Just being right all the time. Just oh, you're talking about the fucking <laughs> just capitulation all, on just the YouTube comments? Always <laughs> being right. It must be nice. People did not like it. <laughs> not, not at all. Jason wins again. I mean, that's why I don't know what the score is. Not at. always right, but when it comes to design and our aesthetic, I'm usually pretty spot on. So we already came up with ways to improve the functionality. The look has not changed at all. There wasn't much on the prototype. We've added significantly more functionality. Correct. But it's still a dog. Uh, <laughs> I, already, I already know what we need to do. Oh, Should do we you? Just skip to the end. I want to stay in solid wood. So I grabbed Crisaldini in first thing in the morning, and I was like, look, I want to stay in solid wood. What do you guys think about, like, butcher block? Right? Like, different colored woods coming in. Cheap. Anybody with a planer can make butcher block cutting boards. One of the problems with butcher block is it's just, like, flat. There's no like geometry to it. We need dimensionality. Exactly. So Adam's idea, which was a good idea, was okay, we'll stay with solid wood, but we'll like put some grooves or some stuff like this. And the grooves could be any sort of thing. And then you can have accent woods inlaid semi proud. This is like a worse option than cutting boards. <laughs> is that worse? Then I was like, this is the most attractive piece of geometry in the shop. Like, I like this. Wow. Okay. It's really nice. Yeah, I think so. So what happens if the, I got a, I got a little zany. I was like, what happens if the whole thing, what happens if we made this into a dice vault? <laughs> it's like. Yeah, and then you like <laughs> click, click this it. on. But then yeah. I was like, oh, well this could just be a design accident. And I don't think we're there yet. And then we could do custom engravings of their adventuring party, which I really like. And then, and I'm just gonna tell you where we're going. And we'll go somewhere else totally different. If this is our central motif, what can we do to sort of have mortises with applied other accents. Make at least that central panel pop a lot. And then maybe the side panels are more basic. That is as far as I've gotten with the concept of solid wood, applied design accents. Go ahead, Terry Park. I think like appliques and everything is the rough. What people want is craftsmanship. I think the way we do this is we make little framing panels with raised panels. If Cabinet companies can make them for really cheap, so can we. There are companies that that's all they do. And they like make cabinet doors for other people to make cabinets. I guess the, I mean, that's true, but that's about as much craftsmanship as this is craftsmanship. But it looks better, it feels better, it has a better aesthetic. Just adding more stuff onto it doesn't address the base problem that like this is ugly. This still doesn't feel like the Wormwood aesthetic. Does a frame and panel door feel like the Wormwood aesthetic? I think it's more so. Yeah. I think more so. I think so, absolutely. More so. Whenever I'm approaching design, I like to bake in the design into the industrial design of the piece, not like slap appliques and art onto oh, a I simple. agree. That's not what no, Wormwood, that's I, what Dogmite does. No, I 100 they're like, here's the thing and slap art onto I it. I do not. And that's the design. I agree with that, 100%. But that being said, I also like accomplishing things. And if we are gonna do frame and panel door, I think that's gonna sync the GM screen for I don't know how long. So. We're either gonna take the solid wood strategy, but make it look like a Wormwood product, or we're probably gonna delay the launch of this product for X amount of time until we can, I don't know when. We got fucked on the last GM screen so hard. And because it, it was frame and panel. Yeah, yeah, it was very hard. I'm gonna keep banging my head against this. I have do not have maximum certainty of success. The next day. So what I'm working on right now, so I got the screen, 
And the idea is we want to put shit in it. We're gonna make it nice. So I've got to do some mortising. So Bennett, he made this hexagonal mortise. I want there to be a field of wood behind it. Yep. So I went to the table saw and I made all these grooves. Zip, zip, zip. And then I think I'm gonna put some either ebony or some wenge. Oh. Stripes. Yeah. At the top and bottom. So it's like, how do you flatten that? So what I'm gonna be doing. You're gonna chisel it? Uh, well, so what you do is you come in and I'm gonna chisel across the grain to the to the flat. And then once once I've got that way, basically I can like pop the chips out. The fact that I segmented it is gonna prevent what would happen if you didn't segment it. You, you'd get the grain to run up and you get a lot of tear out. This is like where I came from. This is the craftsmanship that people want. This, if Doug just makes all the jam screens, we'll be, be fine. $1,500 jam screens. No. <laughs> this is the craftsmanship people want, but I don't think they can afford. That's, that's the issue. Jason gets in at about nine. Okay. I'm hoping to have this done by nine. And yep, then so Jason can rip it apart again. Yeah. <laughs> This time, the commenters are going to come to my defense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. You ready to do some damage, Jason? <laughs> it's not that hard, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so this was our existing solution. There's like three different strategies that are being advocated. I'm on team applique or inlay. Cristaldi, you're on team raised panel. The idea is that you dress up your panel with a route out. So you're not like adding anything, it's actually into the wood. And then Jason is on team frame and panel. The frame and panel, instead of one piece of wood, you have a central panel, and then you have one, two, three, four pieces of wood that frame that panel in. It's how most cabinets doors are made. So I am pro sort of mocking up all these. Like I'm not against, I think we should actually sort of look at them all. But I worked on Shaboy. So we're going from this to this. Give your, give your input. No, I mean, I think it looks worse. It yeah. is. Right. <laughs> worse. <laughs> Whether this is a perfect solution or not, it's obviously better than this. Well, yeah. if, if you're- I'm agreeing with Bobby on that one. Obviously there's like a lot of geometry to it. It's like, <laughs> this gives a lot of shadow lines. I think this should be removable. And then this is a place where we can do personalizations, upgrades, stone or resin inlays. If you do an acrylic, <laughs> you could actually like print out like your guild symbol picture of your here. Part. You can have a picture of <laughs> whatever you want. This wood detail would add cost to the panel. So, Jason, what's your <laughs> I'm just shocked that you think frame and panels too complicated, but this is a slam. Like, this oh. is complicated. This Design is challenge. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You were complaining about five pieces of wood. If we did not do the wood accent, I think this is 100% easier to build than a frame and panel. Yes, it is. It becomes a two-step CNC operation, though. Before we go on, why aren't we just doing this frame and panel? What's the problem? Well, we're just not set up for it. But if you're like, I want to do hundreds and thousands of these at a low cost to get the price down, I don't think it's in the cards. If we just priced it really expensively, does that take that away or are we still not set Absolutely. up for it? If we did a solid wood, I would be looking hopefully between 50 and $75 per panel. I think frame and panel is gonna be like $150 per panel, yeah. which is just, yikes. I think people are willing to invest a little bit in a really nice DM screen setup. I'm honestly listening to all of this. I'm just like, we should just make what people want and charge out the nose for it. I don't know how many people are buying $3,000 GM Or even 1,000. I mean, maybe, you know, we get it. If we did get it, the process worked out and get it. Maybe it's not 3,000. Maybe it's 1,000. Maybe it's 1,500. I don't know. But same question applies. So... We have no resolutions. <laughs> there are no resolutions here. There are only questions. I will have Pennsylvania work up like the next version of this, and then a version of that, and a version of that, and then we just get them all together. I'm gonna win this thing. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, to be continued. I guess. <laughs>